Congratulations, Mr. Yesterday. The state of the Niyo is enviable. Thank you. How much are you asking for it? 600,000 euros. It's true you act just like a Parisian. I'd love to say yes right now, but I never decide on the spot. Antiques require time. Let's do this. I have your card. I'll call you. Tomorrow I leave on a trip, so it may take me a couple of days to get back to you. Shit. Now leave me. You've made me lose too much time already. Amanda Royce, start now. It's done. I'm sorry, Vulcan, my good Vulcan. Please, Pauline, be sensible. Sensible? It's you who's always changing their mind for no reason. Two hours ago, we needed that sale to save the shop, and now you leave everything for a fucking book! It's not the book. Don't you get that? No, John. I don't understand. Tell me. Why suddenly are the Neo and Baxter no longer important? Baxter says it'll take her a few days to give us an answer. I'll be back before that. What if Baxter comes back before you and, and she contacts me? If I'm late, you'll have to take care of her yourself. I can't be everywhere. I'm sorry. Well, if I can't convince you, I can only support you. But keep me up to date, will you? You can count on that. Okay, now hurry up. Don't miss the plane. Oh, and take this. Baxter gave it to me. It's supposed to be your card. Okay. What if I offer you 200? I told you I can't. 300. It's just a tiny change of seat. I'm sorry, but... 400. I'm terribly alone, and he'll be more comfortable here. Please, don't insist. 500? My last offer. Um, uh, I'll see what I can do. Thanks, honey. A and please, bring me two margaritas to celebrate, will you? Here, sir, you can sit beside the lady. Thanks for your kindness, and sorry for the inconvenience. Hi. Hi. My name is John Yesterday. Amanda Royce. Fancy a margarita? I hate flying, and I asked for two drinks to put me to sleep as quickly as possible. But since I have you as company, maybe I don't need these. Here's to coming back home. Hey, have you been away for long? It's been three years since I last visited New York. Oh dear, don't tell me you're another casualty. Casualty? The victim of a French girl. I don't know how they do it, but whenever they see a handsome American, au revoir New York. Bonjour Paris. Uh, yes, sort of. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have brought that up. Did you two have an argument? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. Oh no, don't worry. Maybe it'll be good for me to talk about it. Who's to blame? It's nobody's fault. Or both. We argued over the, the same old shit. Money. I get anxious. And she got nervous, too. Eventually, she calmed down. And everything's okay now, I think. Sort of. Oh, I'm so sorry. How funny that we should meet here now. My story is very similar. The only difference is that there's no way I can save it anymore. Do you know what you'll do when you see her again? I should tell her I'm sorry. Sometimes I just don't listen to anybody. She says I'm a busybody. That's why I'm no good at restoring antiques. Maybe you're right. Let time take its course. 
Hey, in the meantime, the important thing is what you'll do in New York. I have an idea. I can show you how much the city has changed while you've been away. What do you say? Uh, I can try, but I'm only in the city for a very short time. Do it for me, please. You won't regret it. Take my card and call me anytime. Oh, thanks. I think mine are in the... Are you okay? I had a very... A very... <sighs> I'll give it back to you in no time, dear. Reception. Hi, this is room 903. Can you please wake me up at 7.30? Yes, sir. Could you give me a phone number for Leopold Kovac? Let's see if he's in the directory. Yes. There are three pages of Leopold Kovacs. Do you know where he lives? Uh, sorry, no. Then I'm afraid I can't help you, sir. Could you please check how many Amanda Royces there are in the phone book, please? Sure, sir. Three, four, five pages, sir. Oh, <laughs> great, thanks. Could you please bring me up some dinner? Yes, sir. What do you want? It really doesn't matter. I'm not even hungry. It's just in case. We've just hired a Japanese chef from the Kyoto Hilton. Fancy some sushi? Sure, yeah, that'll be great. I can't find the Wi-Fi password. Where can I find it? 
Maybe I forgot to give you the paper. Both the net and the password are Merrick Hotel underscore free, all caps. Okay, that's easy. Thanks. I just want to thank you for everything you did for me. That's very kind. But to be honest, more than a thank you, I'd like a tip like the one you gave the waiter. Will you still be here at my wake-up time? My shift ends at 6, but my replacement will get the instructions. Don't worry. Will you still be here at my shift? And The coin of judgment is the main ingredient of the potion of immortality. You believe that, if you can find one, you'll be able to undergo the same ritual, this time with mercury, so that in the future you won't lose your memory again.
Amanda Royce. Hi, Amanda. It's me, John, from the plane. John, I was wondering if I'd see you again. What's up? I've been thinking. I've got some free time. Can we meet tomorrow? Sure. I'll take a day off. Early in the morning, okay? Uh, well, yes, but before I have to meet a guy. It's work-related. Some guy named Leopold Kovac. I think he works in the same company as you. Hey, maybe you could put me in contact with him? Ah. Uh. That way I could meet him, and after settling our business affairs, I could spend the rest of the day visiting New York with you. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll try. I'll tell you more tomorrow. Hello? John, yesterday, they told me that you want to see me. My name is Leopold Kovac. When can you come? Right now. Okay. Um, write my address down. Sorry. I'll get right to the point, Mr. Kovac. No, no. There's no need. Take your time. I have all day for you. <laughs> there's no emergency. Ask me. I'll be completely honest. We're here to help, aren't we? Why exactly did you write about the cursed book? It was a Trabex assignment. In the beginning, it was not a book. It was a private investigation for an anonymous sponsor. He paid me good money. And I said to myself, Hey, Leopold, you mustn't miss this opportunity. No, no, you're not a kid anymore. You have an ex-wife and three cats to feed. And, and, and also... Why exactly it was a... Tra and I said... Did you ever find the cursed book? <laughs> No, no, the, the trick with these things is to not find them. Because if you do, say goodbye to the mystery. And without the mystery, uh, you say goodbye to your sales. I just made up some theories on its supposed origins and wrote some anecdotes that my informant told me, like the one about the painting. I've written seven books about lost relics, and I've always been very careful never to investigate too much. You see, we're not the police, are we? The first one was Nefertiti's tomb, where I narrated the... Which was amazing, because I... And who was that so-called informant? I only know his surname, Scarpetta. He contacted me while I was researching in the Vatican. He promised to tell me all sorts of legends about the book if I published my own book about it. I asked Trabix, and they liked the idea. Do you think you could find him? No, no, he always contacted me in the strangest of ways. I, uh, no. Maybe he's a criminal, and he's afraid that I might call the authorities. People are so weird. The other day, this guy at the dentist's office, he, he looks at me, he says, You, you... Exactly which theories about its origins did you find? They speak of similar books in the Sumerian and Viking chronicles, and even in certain fragments excluded from the Bible. In my book, I reasoned they could all be our cursed book, but <laughs> who knows? I'll be honest here, because I trust you, okay? I don't think there's a single connection, no. No, but one does have to sell books, of course. <laughs> I did something similar in Forge of the Grail, my third book. Did you read it? Did no. Anyway. What can you tell me about the relationship between the Order of the Flesh and the book? According to my informant, it was a satanic sect founded by some Gerard, some Jim, Jerry, I don't know. 
Hines? Hines? No, no. Anyway, it's all in my book. The thing is that they were in Ireland. No, uh, Scotland. They were in search of the Philosopher's Stone, and, uh, no, that wasn't it. You mentioned a painting. Yes, according to my informant, somewhere in the Vatican, there's a painting showing the cursed book. He even showed me a picture, the, the one I used for my book's cover. But the cover illustration for my fifth book, Montezuma's Lost Gold? Did, did you read? The, anyway, it's even more interesting. I really should be going now. It's getting late. No! No, 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 it's not late. It's early! Are you sure you don't want to stay? Maybe we can eat something while I tell you. Sure, yeah. Well, maybe on another occasion. I'm much obliged, Mr. Kovac. You see how easy it was to do me this little favor, Leopold? And we've managed to keep Seven Fingers unharmed. It could have been much worse. This is John yesterday. I think I left my phone at your place. Will you phone me at the hotel if you find it? I think I lost my cell. Maybe I left it somewhere in the hotel. Let me see. Hmm. If it's here, we haven't found it yet. Will you please wake me tomorrow at 8 a.m.? Of course. Lots of work? No. Actually, I don't even know what I'm going to do tomorrow. Do you have Diablo? You mean the burrito? Burrito Diablo? Yes, I guess. Can you please have one sent to my room? 
Of course, sir. My name is John Yesterday. In the meantime, if you want... We modus in morgen vedagre, va? Ligge foran dig. Wist de honske ad vide? Dit neue tige sted, so ve over dit. Sorry. Sorry. 